Hi everyone, it's Sarah here. I'm just going to do a quick video that was a request um, a few weeks ago by Piggies Full One, and she asked me if I'd just do a quick video on my zoology course. So this is probably not going to be very exciting for many of you, but um, it was a request and I like to do them, so I'm going to do it anyway. Um, so before I do that, I've just show the the cage. Um, I've just changed it so it's well reasonably tidy. <laughs> Today I put um, their little thing there and that's quite good because then they can run around their pigaloo and if it's a tube it kind of moves around whereas that thing doesn't. Um, oh! <laughs> Sprite just made a dash for the hidey hut. Did I scare you there piggy? Sorry! So I've just put the hidey hut in and the bed here although they really do prefer the hidey hut um, I guess just because it's under shelter spray and the tunnel and their litter tray over there with the various ball things around and there's Pixie having a drink hello pig hello <laughs> so anyway on to the video um, I'm going to make this quite quick because I don't really know what to say and I don't want to bore you or anything so I do zoology and people always say do you want to work in a zoo which okay fair enough zoo animals but zoology is a lot more about animal behaviour, ecology, evolution and stuff rather than learning how to care for animals. I'm just going to first show you some books. I'm in my third year so I've like narrowed down my choices of what I'm interested in. In the first year, I think for any course, they'll uh, make you do modules that are very broad and I guess they just want to make sure people have a lot of um, general background knowledge to the subject. So in first year, I was doing stuff like cell biology, which I'd already done it at A-level and it was boring. I fell asleep in most of the lectures. <laughs> but now I'm doing all the stuff that I love, um, all to do with animals. So this is one book that's coming useful, I think I bought it in first year, I still use it now. I've got a few modules on animal behaviour um, and I find that really interesting. Okay, I'm not going to go into that, it gets too confusing. And then of course we've got this book on evolution which I'm still really interested in. So those three topics of um, what forms a core of zoology I guess. Um, and then i just show you these as well which is these are relevant to what I've been doing on my dissertation which is um, restoration ecology and assembly rules so <laughs> it probably doesn't mean anything to anyone but basically um, that's what my dissertation is on and those books are coming in useful. I just thought I'd show you all the modules that I'm doing this year um, so if you are interested this is the kind of stuff that you might be um, studying if you do do a zoology course. So all the credits add up to 120 and that's what you get for a year. If you fail a module you can resit an exam. If you fail that then you have to do the year again so they're pretty harsh. That's what they're like over here in the UK anyway. So I had 20 credits, twice the normal amount for my project which I went out, collected data, wrote a, up a massive thing on it. 20 credits as well for my dissertation which is all that stuff with the books and a lot of writing. Just basically my dissertation is a big essay, although other people's dissertations can be more longer for a start and um, they have to do some like data collection for them. Ecotoxicology is about chemicals and the environment and how they affect animals. I didn't find that module too interesting to be honest. Cooperation and conflict is a behaviour module about how animals cooperate or conflict and um, all sorts of stuff like that. Trends in biology was um, a module that they did on seminars. In university you'll have various departments and people will come and visit the departments and give a talk on basically what their research is and all the lecturers and people who are interested in will come down and, and hear them talk and I think they have them um, two or three times a week and Trends in Biology was a module where it was compulsory to go along to these seminars and just write up a little abstract about their research. Conservation, I'm doing that at the minute, um, so obviously conservation, talking about urbanisation, agriculture, all sorts of things that are affecting species and causing extinctions and stuff. And then I have the rainforest field course which I went on over summer last year 
and I went to Borneo. It was a really amazing experience. We got to um, go out to a proper field station in the middle of the rainforest. We had to get an internal flight and a like, four hour drive or something to get there so we really were in the middle of nowhere. And um, every day we got to go out into the rainforest, we had guides um, with us and we had to do a little project there and then write it up afterwards. So I'd really recommend if you want to do a course like zoology, you'll find a lot of it is learning and lectures and stuff. But then if you if you are given the opportunity to get to go on field courses, do go for them because they really are um there is some like amazing places that you can go. I know I picked Sheffield where I go to university because I wanted to go on the Borneo field course. There was other ones for for other people that wanted to do other things or didn't have enough money because um, you had to pay for the flights and I think it was about almost a, a thousand pounds for the field course. I saved all that up because I knew I wanted to do it from the start and also you had to have um, done well enough in your other studies to be able to do the field course that you wanted. So um, that's just a little bit on the modules. For my timetable it's probably not very interesting. Um, basically you get a lot of lectures in first year and you also get a lot of practical work in the lab. Second year you also have lab work again and you do more project stuff because they want to get you in the end to be able to write your own papers and do your own research really. And then third year is even more like that so you get even less time for lectures and more modules that are about you going off and doing your own thing. This is just the Corporation Conflict module that I want to show you quickly. Basically for every module I get um, a thing like this, showing the timetable, learning objectives and how the assessment is going to be. Usually, for me anyway, there are exams, an hour and a half and you have to write an essay from a choice of three. So it can be on anything in the entire course, which means you need to do a lot of revision unfortunately. This, this is just my lecture notes and stuff. This is stuff that I've actually written in the lecture. I like to make it neat and then just fill in gaps that I can come back to later. So this is the kind of questions for third year. If this means nothing to you now, <laughs> big useful one. If you do zoology, don't worry. <laughs> this is third year so you by the time you get to say second year you'll understand what this stuff means. So that's where I'm going to leave it for now. So these are not all my books, I've left some of them in Sheffield that aren't, weren't too big to, um, they were a bit big to look home and stuff so. Um, I hope this hasn't been too boring and I hope I've provided um, you with some answers about my zoology course. Go and subscribe to Piggy's Full One and that's bye from me. Bye bye!